Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm your host, Dilly of Panda Gaming, and welcome back to the Panda Gaming channel. Today is Wednesday, the 30th, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is May the 30th, and today, For Honor came out with something pretty huge. It's a trailer, but, you know, I, I, I'm not sure what to make of it. Um, I do know that there is some crazy new shit uh, coming apparently because for honor will be at e3 um but first i'm gonna explain a little bit about the uploading and stuff like that it's been it's been a little slow recently and the reason behind this being um there was a couple of crazy shit that just happened in mine my life you like right now had it, it's not it's not like you know sad or anything it's just a little crazy and um you know, it's been kind of absorbing a lot of my time. But uh, other than that, you know, I should be back. And, you know, as soon as summer starts, we did promise to you guys that we'll have a everyday upload schedule. We'll try to hold up to that as, you know, as much as we can. But, um, you know, you never know. It, it's going to be... It's going to be here or there, you know, those, one of those kinds of things. I know we're going on vacation. Me and Trey are uh, going on vacation together sometime in June. But um, other than that, you know, we should uphold a everyday upload schedule, even if we have to record videos in advance. Right now, I'm working on production of the Nabushi backstory. I'm going to let you guys know that next. And, uh, you know, after Trey came out with the Raider backstory, I did step up my game a bit. I'm not, ju I'm not just going to be reading the story. I'm going to talk about it a little bit. And, uh, you know, I'm going to put on a voice, like, like I said. And, um... I don't really, I can't do a female Japanese voice. I can't do a female voice at all. So I'm gonna to uh, I'm going to uh, work some somehow work my way around it. I know the female characters that Trey has, and he's the female characters Trey is going to be doing a backstory on. They he's going to have his um I think he said he's going to have his girlfriend do it, and if he does, that's great because then we could have a genuine female voice actor with me. You know. I, I ain't got nobody. I I just I'm just alone, you know. So, um, I'm gonna incorporate I'm gonna incorporate a way on how I can uh, make that work and still tell the backstory. But um, anyway, guys, let's get to talking about the uh, teaser, the E3 teaser, the um, legendary thing that I'm sure many of you know by now. So the teaser is a little short video. And it's of a um, warden in full armor in like some sort of a uh, desert setting, and a what looks like a scimitar comes into screen and then stops at the, uh, at the warden's like head or throat, kinda. I, I, I'm putting I have the you know picture on screen right now, but um yeah that's kind of how it happens. That is what, you know, this little teaser is. Not not only that, did it do a trailer today, which was, um... It was basically past, present, and future of For Honor. And it was, like, the devs talking about the community, talking about what's next in the game, talking about some crazy things. It was kind of like an E3 thing, but, you know, E3 isn't until, I think, June 12th. When E3 comes around, I will be covering that as well. Um... You know, just basically coming up to date with everything that, you know, is going to happen in the community. I get out of uh, high school June 8th, so, you know, we got we got good amount of time uh, left, like nine more days, and then begins the summer upload schedules that should be good. Um, you know, constant uploading at least one video a day from myself or Trey, you never know. Um... I think it will be positive because we'll bring in more subscribers. It will give more chances of videos kind of blowing up and stuff like that, you know. But um, this E3 trailer, okay, my thoughts on it. Or not E3 trailer, but teaser. My thoughts on this teaser are this. I believe this is going to be an introduction of a new faction, and the reason I say this is because it is a scimitar, or at least what looks like a scimitar, coming down and stopping at the warden. Now, none of the factions really have a desert setting yet, 
I mean, you could you could argue, oh, the knights do, but the knights are more plains with like pine trees and stuff like that. You know, it's like a in it's like a. I think they call it deciduous. I, I believe that's it. A deciduous forest. It's this kind of their thing, you know, kind of um, rocky with trees and stuff. That's kind of the knights area. And then you have the samurai, which is nothing but swamps. You're not going to find a desert there. And then you have Valkenheim, which is snow. This map looks sort of like a deserty style kind of thing. And then they, um, the, the whole scimitar thing. Personally, I believe that the next faction will either be some sort of Middle Eastern warrior or what I'm thinking is Persians. A Persian faction would be really cool. I would love to see a Persian immortal somehow incorporated into this game as an assassin character. I think that would be badass. And of course, if you're going to have the Persians, at some point you're going to have to add Spartans, which that could be a whole faction on its own. But... Guys, I want you to know that this is all just speculation. This is just me rambling. Don't kill me if you, you know, my ideas don't line up with yours. Don't, don't freak out. It's just all speculation. This video is nothing but speculation. Would I like a new faction into this game? Absolutely. I would love to see a Persian faction. That would be, it would add, it would, gameplay would be better, okay? And the reason why I say that is because... Let's be honest, with the faction war right now, the Vikings are absolutely dominating, okay? Vikings have been dominating for the past two seasons. If they add a new faction, maybe people will want to join different factions or that faction as it is. Like, my whole thought thought process behind it is, it, it is a Persian faction. You know, Persians were originally, I think, from, like, the Middle East, like, in that area somewhere, I believe. And, um... What we could do is, like, you know, knights are, oh, crusade, like, you know, n people who used to be past knights, like, you know, in the pa in the knight faction, they could completely just join back up with the knights to go on a crusade against the Persians. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid as I'm saying it, but it would make sense. Like, you can't tell me people wouldn't do that. Because, you know, the knights, they're all about that deus vault. The samurai, of course, are all about their animu. And freaking the vikings are all about their, um, their, their beards. But, uh, that's all just stereotyping at this point. But, um, yeah, I, I feel like adding a whole nother faction would not only take care of the problem of needing new heroes into the game, but it would also take care of the problem of the faction war being stacked as the vikings are right now seeing how they have the majority but um you know th that's just the way things are and uh hopefully it is a new faction but um i think honestly with this e3 announcement a lot of things are going to be coming to the game i don't think it's just going to be new faction i think they could be possibly making the game cross platform which which is just a big if you know, once again, speculation. None of us know. Um, or quite possibly they could. You, there's just a... They could do it... Well, I mean, if they add a new faction, they could add a whole new campaign mode. Which, you know, it, it seems pretty It seems pretty evident that they could do that. I mean, that that's probably the most likely thing to it, is uh, adding a new campaign, which a, a new story mode, which would incorporate you know, all the heroes, including the, um, the Persians, and they could add the new faction, but, um, of course, at the end of the day, we don't know, we're just the players, and, of course, they have the, the balls in their court, okay, they're the production company, uh, I guess we have to wait until June 12th to find out that I think that's when E3 is, uh, I will be covering that, of course, because E3 is, you know, one of those big, big events that games, game companies and gamers look forward to every year. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Comment if, you know, there's anything that you've seen wrong. Or comment your own opinion on what you think it could be. Um, I'm your host, once again, Dilly Panda Gaming. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Deuces.